This book was kind of terrible. Not terrible. It was just very bad and mediocre and drawn out. It's the third book in the Blood Sucking Fiends trilogy. I hope it's a trilogy. I hope this is the last book because it was so boring and drawn out. As you know, I read You Suck and I enjoyed it very thoroughly. I'll put an annotation right here so you can check that out, that review. The majority of the story is told by Abby Normal, which is their minion, and she, if you remember from the previous book, she had them bronzed, and she and her boyfriend were living in their house. Blah, 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 blah. The majority of this is her little online blog diary, and it's all, it's all very like 15 year old. Not even 15. She's very immature for how old she is. As you can tell by my annoyed tone, I just didn't really care for that at all. And it just drug it up. I don't understand why it took so long to get the vampires out of their bronze shell. I didn't like how drawn out this book was. It was just so, I was like, God, let something happen. I was waiting for the two main characters from You Suck to reappear, and it took like half the book. And then after that, it was like a journey to find each other again. And it wasn't fun or anything like that. It was like, <sighs> it was like this. Except if I had claws and I was clawing my face. This what? They're vampire cats. Yes, va vampire cats. And they kill people. And there's one, and he gets to be like this big Labrador sized cat. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. The characters weren't too terribly bad, and you suck. Like, there were like really funny characters, and I enjoyed them. But in this book, half of them did absolutely nothing, while the other half just kind of sat around and was like, uh, what do we, what do we, what do we do? What can we do? And there was like, my voice of reason and he wasn't even a vampire he was like this girl's boyfriend and he saved people's lives how else do I explain this book other than a letdown I just don't understand bad sequels or trilogies whatever you want to call them just don't understand you brought me up then you tear me down the only thing that I can really think of is that the only thing that I can really think of is that some of the secondary characters or secondary storylines, they kind of rose up and became heroes, and that was pretty nice just to see like a secondary character like, you know, come up and like save the day and save everybody. Um, cause it wasn't just, um, it wasn't just Abby normal, it was like her boyfriend and um, the characters of the group, the animals, and the emperors are always saving people, and um, Sort of, the two cops are kind of heroes in a way, but they were still really like blah and boring and they had no idea what they were doing. And they always needed somebody to tell them, hey, you need to do this. I really like the cover though. It's kind of cute in that like emo kid way. Hope that you have a lovely day, weekend, whatever such. Um, if you read this, what did you think? Uh, if you've read other vampire books, did you enjoy them? Which ones did you read? Goodbye, farewell, to you I say adieu, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you.